The sodium ion battery, although arriving late to the market, has ultimately proven to be much more powerful. Former Tesla engineer Spencer Gore is commercializing his most advanced sodium ion battery technology, which offers a range of 300 miles, similar to the LFP battery in the Model Y but at a significantly lower cost. This makes it particularly suitable for Elon Musk's envisioned $25,000 affordable electric car. This achievement marks the first time a sodium ion battery pack has reached such a range, making it a hard option for Elon to ignore. Currently, battery issues are less challenging for Tesla, with their 4,680 production line producing around 1,000 battery packs each week. These packs are reserved for more expensive vehicles like the Cybertruck, but next-generation EVs like the RoboTaxi and CyberCap, especially the upcoming $25,000 car, still require a stable and cheaper battery pack compared to a regular LFP cell for better production rates. Promising advancements are on the horizon. Spencer Gore, a former battery module design engineer at Tesla, believes that the sodium ion battery technology from his startup Bedrock Materials is ready for electric vehicles, offering a 300-mile range at a lower cost than the cheapest LFP battery technology available today. Over the years, many new battery technologies have been developed alongside lithium cells, but sodium ion batteries are among the most promising. They have seen a 40% improvement in energy density over the last two years, a faster rate than any other battery technology. Automakers are turning to sodium ion batteries as a contingency against the rising cost of lithium batteries, aiming to reduce production costs for affordable cars. After several announcements about cancelling the affordable car model to prioritize robo-taxi, Tesla faced criticism from customers and investors, forcing them to continue working on the $25,000 car but with an entirely new manufacturing approach. The sodium ion battery might be considered as it meets the criteria for Tesla to achieve the desired price point for its electric car. Spencer Gore stated that it's becoming almost certain that sodium ion batteries will surpass lithium iron phosphate (LFB) batteries, the cheapest lithium ion variant, opening the door for an electric car priced under $25,000, such as Tesla's Model 2, which was once thought impossible. Sodium batteries have a unique advantage due to their abundance on Earth, allowing for an affordable price when utilized. The cost for sodium ion batteries is estimated to be about $40 to $80 per kilowatt hour, compared to an average of $120 per kilowatt hour for lithium ion batteries. Sodium is 500 to 1000 times more abundant than lithium on Earth, and the extraction process is less harmful to the environment. Spencer's sodium ion battery contains a positive electrode, a negative electrode, a separator, and a liquid electrolyte, similar to lithium ion batteries, but uses sodium as the charge carrier. Both electrodes can be made of cheaper materials like iron, aluminum, or manganese instead of expensive copper. Achieving a 300 mile range for sodium ion batteries is challenging, but Spencer's latest developments have significantly enhanced their power, addressing inherent weaknesses in energy density. In terms of charging speed, sodium ion batteries have shown much promise, with charging and discharging processes over 10 times faster than lithium ion batteries, compensating for their density weakness. Although sodium ion batteries might offer a shorter range, they require less time to charge, balancing out against longer range vehicles that take nearly an hour to charge. Spencer's sodium ion battery packs maintain 80% capacity after 4,000 to 5,000 cycles and potentially up to 50,000 cycles due to the durability of sodium. Safety is also improved as sodium is much less chemically reactive than lithium, reducing the risk of thermal runaway or fire hazards. Sodium ion batteries perform well even in cold temperatures, with a capacity retention rate above 88% at minus 20 degrees Celsius, compared to below 70% for lithium iron phosphate batteries, making them more suitable for cold environments. Despite these advantages, Spencer's sodium ion battery still faces challenges in gaining widespread adoption. The main obstacle to making sodium ion batteries popular in electric vehicles is their weakness in charging storage and relatively low energy density, which is only 75 to 160 watt hours per kilogram compared to 120 to 260 watt hours per kilogram for lithium ion batteries. Sodium ions are larger and heavier than lithium ions, leading to reduced energy storage capacity. This limitation previously meant that sodium ion batteries were only suitable for small city cars. 
Although Spencer Gore didn't detail the material advancements, he mentioned that his sodium-ion battery would be slightly larger than the LFP 300-mile battery pack but still deliver the same power. He acknowledged that this sodium battery pack would add weight equivalent to another passenger in an electric vehicle. While this added weight could be a significant issue for high-performance electric vehicles, it might be acceptable for mass-market electric cars priced under $25,000, where affordability is prioritized over performance. With sodium-ion battery technology, production costs decrease significantly, making these cars more affordable. If this battery is used in Elon Musk's affordable car, there would be a need to compromise on performance to maintain the promised price point. Spencer Gore's startup, Bedrock Materials, is working to commercialize this 300-mile sodium battery. As a former Tesla employee, he may have an easier time discussing this with Elon Musk. Bedrock Materials is currently manufacturing the necessary cathode components and has secured an initial $8 million to expand domestic production, potentially making sodium-ion battery-equipped cars eligible for federal tax credit subsidies. Spencer Gore noted that initially, Tesla and other electric vehicle manufacturers focused on high-performance vehicles for early adopters and sports car enthusiasts, using expensive metals like nickel, cobalt, and lithium in the battery chemistry. At that time, sodium-ion batteries weren't necessary. However, with increased competition pushing manufacturers to launch low-cost car models, sodium-ion batteries now have a significant advantage. Modern lithium-ion batteries rely on rare elements like cobalt, nickel, and lithium, whose supply is burdened by environmental and humanitarian concerns. Although lithium prices have dropped by nearly 20% since January, they are expected to rise again due to a forecasted 500% increase in lithium demand by 2030, driving prices up as EV automakers compete for sources. In contrast, the sodium-based battery has virtually unlimited material resources. There's no shortage of salt or soda ash in the world. The United States alone holds about 90% of the world's known soda ash reserves, with 47 billion tons in Wyoming's Green River Basin. Each billion tons of soda ash could provide hundreds of terawatt-hours of energy reserves. With a material cost of $4 per kilowatt-hour, sodium batteries could potentially be priced at $8 to $10 per kilowatt-hour in the future, making them significantly cheaper than current energy storage batteries. Most people cannot afford $60,000 to $80,000 for an electric vehicle and an additional $5,000 for a home charging station. Additionally, the range of electric vehicles is still not comparable to gas-powered cars, and charging stations are not as widespread as gas stations. Therefore, the focus on affordable electric cars is increasing, which is why Tesla's $25,000 EV has garnered significant attention. However, Elon Musk might struggle to meet this price promise using LFP or 2170 batteries due to their high costs. While there are various ways to lower the vehicle's price, no solution is as effective as using a cheaper battery technology like sodium-ion batteries. Ultimately, there's a trade-off as sodium is heavier and doesn't store as much energy. However, sodium-ion batteries are over a thousand times more abundant than lithium-ion batteries, making this difference valuable. Sodium-ion batteries naturally fit market segments where cost, abundance, and safety are prioritized over high-end performance. The initial goal is to replace lead-acid starter batteries in gas-powered cars and trucks with sodium-ion batteries. Although sodium-ion batteries may not match the high energy density of lithium-ion batteries, recent figures from larger cell manufacturers working on sodium-ion batteries show promising results, almost competitive with LFP cells in terms of energy density and volume while being at a lower price. This opens up possibilities in the budget and small car segments. CADL introduced a 160 watt hour per kilogram sodium ion battery in 2021 and plans to increase the density to over 200 watt hours per kilogram to better meet the demands of EVs. In a 2020 earnings call, Elon Musk clarified that Tesla aims to provide at least a 300 mile range for its electric vehicles. He added that expanding the supercharging network would extend the range significantly without necessarily increasing costs. The growing interest in sodium-ion batteries suggests that this technology is nearing a breakthrough, as evidenced by numerous announced projects and ambitious plans from several manufacturers to deploy sodium-ion electric vehicles. Commercial production of sodium-ion batteries is set to be achieved by early 2024. 
Announcements from companies like CATL, Cherry, BYD, Gina, Feradian, Natron, PNNL, and others include plans for grid storage projects. Tesla might be the next automaker to consider sodium-ion batteries for its electric vehicles, especially since the 4,680 cells are reserved for expensive models like the Cybertruck and Semi. Several companies, mainly in China, have developed sodium-ion batteries, with production capacity expected to increase from 42 gigawatt-hours per year in 2023 to 186 gigawatt-hours per year by 2030. This capacity would be sufficient to power 4.6 million electric vehicles annually, assuming each vehicle has a 40 kilowatt-hour capacity. As we strive for a cleaner environment, lithium-ion batteries have been at the forefront of modern energy storage due to their higher energy density and versatility. However, increasing demand for these batteries has raised concerns about sustainability, available resources, geopolitical issues, and potential supply chain bottlenecks. While the world has enough raw materials to support the energy transition, the supply chains are struggling to keep up with the growing demand for EVs, leading to a sharp rise in lithium carbonate prices. These concerns highlight the need to explore alternative solutions and optimize sustainable energy storage. Innovation in battery storage technology, such as sodium-ion batteries, could expedite this transition. Although their energy density is not yet comparable to lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion batteries offer advantages like faster charging cycles, longer lifespan, and safer usage with reduced fire risk. These features make them appealing for stationary infrastructure such as data centers and backup power storage for EV charging stations. Sodium-ion batteries' characteristics, smoke-free, flame-free, and explosion-free, make them more reliable and safer in energy storage applications, crucial for stable energy storage system operation and large-scale applications. They also offer opportunities to replace the lead acid market, worth billions of dollars. With many EVs losing eligibility for the $7,500 federal tax credit due to predominantly Chinese-sourced batteries, sodium-ion batteries have emerged as a solution. Sodium-ion battery technology relies on abundant sodium sources in water, circumventing supply issues and reducing dependence on imported resources, especially given uncertain US-China relations. Currently, sodium-ion battery technology is still in its early stages compared to lithium-ion batteries, facing limited commercial viability due to the lack of a supply chain and established production infrastructure. Despite this, Spencer Gore's sodium-ion battery has been a breakthrough, accelerating the commercialization process. Gore's sodium-ion battery offers several key advantages for affordable EVs, especially Tesla's $25,000 car, with lower production costs compared to LFP batteries and higher safety standards. Sodium is much more abundant than lithium and less environmentally harmful to extract. Despite lower energy density, sodium-ion batteries can overcome this drawback with faster charging speeds and higher durability, aligning well with Tesla's affordable vehicle segment, where costs and safety are prioritized over high performance. Spencer Gore's Bedrock Materials is scaling up sodium-ion battery production and has received funding to accelerate commercialization. In summary, Gore's sodium-ion battery technology holds significant potential to assist Tesla in producing affordable EVs while meeting the necessary criteria for cost, safety, and performance. This opens up the possibility of realizing the $25,000 electric vehicle that Elon Musk has promised. What do you think about sodium-ion batteries? We'd love to hear your thoughts on the future potential of sodium-ion batteries, so drop us a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun. The sodium ion battery, despite its late arrival, has become significantly more powerful. Former Tesla engineer Spencer Gore is commercializing his advanced sodium-ion battery technology, which offers a 300-mile range similar to the LFP battery in the Model Y but at a much lower cost. This makes it an ideal option for Elon Musk's $25,000 affordable electric car. This is the first time a sodium-ion battery pack has achieved this milestone, making it hard for Elon to ignore. Currently, battery issues are less challenging for Tesla, with the 4680 production line producing about a thousand battery packs every week. These are reserved for high-end vehicles like the Cybertruck, but next-generation EVs like the RoboTaxi and CyberCap, 
especially the upcoming $25,000 car, still need a stable and cheaper battery pack compared to the regular LFP cells for better production rates. A former battery module design engineer at Tesla believes that the sodium ion battery technology from his startup Bedrock Materials is ready for electric vehicles, offering a 300-mile range at a lower cost than the cheapest LFP battery technology available today. Sodium ion batteries are among the most promising new battery technologies, with a 40% improvement in energy density over the past two years, a faster rate than any other battery technology. Automakers are turning to sodium ion batteries as a contingency against the rising cost of lithium batteries to reduce production costs of affordable cars. After several announcements to cancel the affordable car model to prioritize robo-taxis, Tesla faced criticism from customers and investors. This forced Tesla to continue putting the $25,000 car back on the production line with a new manufacturing approach. The sodium ion battery might be considered as it meets Tesla's criteria for achieving the price point for its electric car. Spencer Gore stated that sodium ion batteries are likely to surpass lithium iron phosphate (LFP) batteries, the cheapest lithium ion, enabling an electric car priced under $25,000, such as Tesla's Model 2, which was once thought to be impossible. Sodium batteries have an unparalleled advantage in their abundance on Earth, allowing for affordable pricing. The cost for sodium ion batteries is estimated to be about $40 to $80 per kilowatt hour compared to an average of $120 per kilowatt hour for lithium ion batteries. Sodium is 500 to 1000 times more abundant than lithium on Earth, and the extraction process is less harmful to the environment. Spencer's sodium ion battery contains a positive electrode, a negative electrode, a separator, and a liquid electrolyte, similar to lithium ion batteries, but uses sodium as the charge carrier. Both electrodes can be made of cheaper materials, unlike lithium ion batteries that require expensive copper for their current collector. Spencer's battery uses abundant and benign materials like iron, aluminum, or manganese. Achieving a 300 mile range for sodium ion batteries is challenging but recent developments have significantly enhanced their power. In terms of charging speed, sodium ion batteries show promise, demonstrating charging and discharging processes over 10 times faster than lithium ion batteries, compensating for their density weakness. Despite potentially shorter ranges, sodium ion batteries offer quick charging, balancing out against longer range vehicles that take nearly an hour to charge. The lifespan of these sodium battery packs maintains 80% capacity after 4,000 to 5,000 cycles. We've also learned that the durability of sodium ion batteries can potentially reach up to 50,000 cycles. While electric vehicle fires are rare, many people still fear using them due to the fire and explosion risks associated with lithium battery packs at high temperatures. Spencer's sodium ion battery offers significantly improved safety compared to conventional lithium ion batteries. Sodium is much less chemically reactive than lithium, reducing the risk of thermal runaway or fire hazards. One advantage of Spencer's sodium ion battery is its excellent performance in cold temperatures. Sodium ion batteries perform better in low temperatures than lithium ion batteries, with better efficiency, speed, and safety when charging in cold conditions. At minus 20 degrees Celsius, sodium ion batteries retain more than 88% of their capacity, while lithium iron phosphate batteries retain less than 70%, making them less suitable for cold environments like winter in Chicago. Despite these advantages, sodium ion batteries still face challenges. The primary barrier to their widespread use in electric vehicles is their lower energy density, ranging from 75 to 160 watt hours per kilogram compared to 120 to 260 watt hours per kilogram for lithium ion batteries. Sodium ions are larger and heavier than lithium ions, resulting in reduced energy storage capacity. Previously, this limitation meant sodium ion batteries were only suitable for small city cars. Spencer's sodium ion battery is slightly larger than the LFP 300 mile battery pack but still achieves the same power. This battery pack would add extra weight equivalent to another passenger if used in an electric vehicle. While this weight increase could be problematic for high-performance electric vehicles, it is acceptable for mass-market electric cars priced under $25,000, which prioritize affordability over performance. The lower production costs of sodium ion batteries make these cars more affordable. Spencer Gore's startup, Bedrock Materials, is working to commercialize this 300-mile sodium battery. 
As a former Tesla employee, he might have an easier time discussing this with Elon Musk. Bedrock Materials is currently manufacturing the necessary cathode components and has received an initial $8 million to expand production domestically, enabling the production of sodium-ion battery-equipped cars eligible for federal tax credit subsidies. Initially, Tesla and other electric vehicle manufacturers focused on high-performance electric vehicles for early adopters and sports car enthusiasts, where cost was not an issue. These high-end cars use expensive metals like nickel, lithium, and cobalt in their batteries. However, with increasing competition and the need to launch low-cost car models, sodium-ion batteries offer a significant advantage. Modern lithium-ion batteries rely on rare minerals like cobalt, nickel, and lithium, which are scarce and pose environmental and humanitarian concerns. According to Benchmark Minerals, lithium prices have dropped by nearly 20% since January, even as EV sales soar. However, prices are expected to rise again due to a forecasted 500% increase in lithium demand by 2030, leading to significant competition for lithium sources and driving prices up. Currently, lithium is priced at around $5,000 to $8,000 per ton for production. In contrast, the sodium-based battery has virtually unlimited material resources, as there is no shortage of salt or soda ash in the world. The United States holds about 90% of the world's known soda ash reserves, primarily in Wyoming's Green River Basin, which has 47 billion tons of soda ash reserves. This abundance could result in energy reserves in the hundreds of terawatt hours from each billion tons of soda ash. With material costs of $4 per kilowatt hour, sodium batteries could potentially be priced at $8 to $10 per kilowatt hour in the future, making them 10 times cheaper than current energy storage batteries. Most people cannot afford to spend $60,000 to $80,000 on an electric vehicle plus an additional $5,000 for a home charging station. Additionally, the range of electric vehicles is still not comparable to gas-powered cars, and while accessibility is increasing, charging stations are not as ubiquitous as gas stations. Therefore, the focus on affordable electric cars is growing, making Tesla's $25,000 EV highly anticipated. However, it may be challenging for Elon Musk to maintain that price point if using LFP or 2170 batteries, as they are still too expensive. Tesla may still use them in the future, but currently, there is no more effective solution than using a cheaper battery technology like sodium-ion batteries. In summary, sodium-ion batteries are heavier and have lower energy storage capacity, but their abundance makes them valuable. They are suitable for market segments where cost, abundance, and safety are prioritized over high-end performance. The initial goal is to replace lead-acid starter batteries in gas-powered cars and trucks with sodium-ion batteries. Although sodium-ion batteries may not match the high energy density of lithium-ion batteries, recent developments by larger cell manufacturers show promising results, nearly competitive with LFP cells in energy density and volume while being lower in price. This opens possibilities in the budget and small car segments. CADL introduced a 160-watt-hour per kilogram sodium-ion battery in 2021 and plans to increase the density to over 200 watt-hours per kilogram to better meet the demands of EVs. Elon Musk clarified in a 2020 earnings call that Tesla aims to provide at least a 300-mile range for its electric vehicles. The increasing interest in sodium-ion batteries suggests that this technology is nearing a breakthrough, particularly evident in the numerous announced projects and ambitious plans by several manufacturers to deploy sodium-ion electric vehicles and achieve commercial production by early 2024. These announcements include statements from companies like CATL, Cherry, BYD, Gina, Faradin, Natron, PNNL, and others, encompassing grid storage projects as well. Tesla might be the next automaker to consider using sodium-ion batteries for its electric vehicles, especially since the 4,680 cells are reserved for expensive models like the Cybertruck and Semi. Sodium-ion batteries have been developed by several companies, primarily in China, and production capacity is forecasted to increase from 42 gigawatt-hours a year in 2023 to 186 gigawatt-hours a year by 2030. This capacity would be sufficient to power 4.6 million electric vehicles annually, assuming each vehicle has a 40 kilowatt-hour capacity. Until we find another habitable planet, striving for the cleanest possible environment is a rational approach. Lithium-ion batteries have always been at the forefront of modern energy storage solutions due to their higher energy density and versatility. 
However, the increasing demand for lithium-ion batteries has raised concerns about sustainability, available resources, geopolitical considerations, and potential bottlenecks in the supply chain. While the world has enough raw materials to sustain the energy transition process, including lithium, the main concern is that battery supply chains are struggling to keep up with the increasing demand for EVs, leading to a sharp rise in lithium carbonate prices. These concerns signal the need to explore alternative solutions and optimize sustainable energy storage solutions. Innovation could be the catalyst to expedite the transition process, with a range of new chemicals for battery storage technology. Sodium-ion batteries may emerge as an impressive solution. Although their energy density is not yet comparable to lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion batteries offer advantages such as faster charging cycles, longer lifespan, and safer usage with reduced risk of fire, making them appealing for stationary infrastructure like data centers and backup power storage for EV charging stations. Sodium-ion batteries are smoke-free, flame-free, and explosion-free, making them more reliable and safer in energy storage applications. This is crucial for the stable operation of energy storage systems and large-scale applications, providing more application scenarios. Sodium-ion batteries have many opportunities to replace the lead acid market worth billions of dollars. In light of a wave of electric vehicles losing eligibility for the $7,500 federal tax credit due to predominantly Chinese-sourced batteries, sodium-ion batteries have emerged as a solution. Sodium-ion battery technology relies on abundant sodium sources in water to circumvent supply issues and reduce dependence on imported resources, especially amidst uncertain international relations between the US and China. Currently, sodium-ion battery technology is still in its early stages compared to lithium-ion batteries, facing limited commercial viability due to the lack of a supply chain and established production infrastructure. Despite this, Spencer's sodium-ion battery has been a breakthrough, bringing this technology to reality faster. His sodium-ion battery offers key advantages for affordable electric vehicles, especially for Tesla's $25,000 car, with lower production costs compared to LFP batteries and higher safety standards. Sodium-ion batteries meet the criteria for affordability and stability in electric vehicles. Sodium is much more abundant than lithium and less environmentally harmful during extraction. Despite lower energy density, sodium-ion batteries overcome this drawback with faster charging speeds and higher durability, aligning well with Tesla's affordable vehicle segment where costs and safety are prioritized over high performance. Spencer Gore's Bedrock Materials is scaling up sodium-ion battery production and has received funding to accelerate the commercialization process. In summary, Spencer Gore's sodium-ion battery technology holds significant potential to help Tesla produce affordable electric vehicles while meeting necessary cost, safety, and performance criteria. This opens the possibility of realizing the $25,000 electric vehicle that Elon Musk has promised. What do you think about the sodium-ion battery and its future potential? Share your thoughts with us below. We appreciate your feedback and hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Nation by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.